hello friends in today's video we'll see how we create a four quadrant slide this is the first quadrant with a message and then the second one the third one and the fourth one there is one more version of this slide both the slides are completely editable and i have placed them on the share path link is given in the description section you can go there and you can download these slides and use them for multi-purpose. These are very beautiful slides. Now let's see how we can create these slides even less than 10 minutes so quickly. Let me go to a blank slide. First thing I'm going to enable the grid line. So go to view uh, grid line and the guides. Now draw a rectangle here and I'm going to take a size as shape format. Go to shape format and take a size at let's say height as 6 and uh, with uh, length as 11. Go to shape outline, no outline, and let's place it something like this. Now do a control D to duplicate this uh, rectangle and place it here. Now select both of them and again do a control D to duplicate and put them down here. Okay, now go to insert and draw oval. Press a shift key and draw it. Now, shape outline, no outline, and a size I'm going to take five, height and length both. Now, I need to just place it, uh, let's put a, let's say, white color here. And I'm just going to change alignment, say align middle and align center. So it is at the center. Now again go to view and remove the grid lines and guide. Now select all these four rectangles and then the circle. Go to shape format, go to merge save and say fragment. Now remove this uh, inner part of it, these corners as well. And now my shape is ready. Now I'm going to change the color. So I have put some color agent here. So I'll select one of uh, these and change the color. Similarly, I'll change the color for rest of them as well. Now it's a time to put some effect here. So select these two, go to uh, shape effect, shadow, and choose as a bottom one. And for these two, again, go to shape effect, shadow, and choose a top one. Now I am going to draw uh, another circle here. Shape circle and draw it something like this. Now take a size as uh, 6 or you can take 6.5 as well. Should be okay. Or I can take let's say 6.3. Now same go to shape outline, no outline shape fill as no fill, align as middle and align as center, uh, shape outline I have to change to white color and then probably take a weight as one and half. So now you see this uh, outer circle. Now go to insert and I'm going to insert few icons here. So PPT or PowerPoint has this feature. You can go to insert an icon and then you can draw some icon from here. So let's say I take this icon, this one, this one, and this one. These four icons I'm going to use, say insert. Now choose one of them, place it here, decrease the size. You can decrease the size from here as well. Or you can do shift down arrow and the left arrow key. That also, uh, this is how you can reduce the size. Or if you don't want to use a shift down and left uh, arrow key, you can also choose from here height and width. I'm going to use uh, shift and down arrow, left, down arrow, left, down arrow, left. Let me reduce the size of these as well. And place them here. Just place them as for your need. Okay, now I'm going to also change the color. 
I'm going to choose the same color as the rectangle. So go to shape fill and choose the eyedropper and pick this color. Similarly for others also, I'm going to change the color and use eyedropper for that purpose. Shape fill, eyedropper, change color. And this color as well. Now I'm going to add some message here. So let's say insert, go to text box, say step one. I'm going to use Century Gothic as a text style. Increase the size, take a white font. Let's say this is my step one. And then you can add your message here. So reduce the size. And I can say add your message here. So similarly, I have, uh, you can add your message. I have just put a placeholder here. Uh, let me add one more time. Control C, Control V. So similarly, you can uh, add your message. It could be a four step slide. It could be a, a four kind of, you know, uh, different program updates. That's how you can also use this slide. Or there are different processes you follow that also you can use this slide. There, there are various ways you can use this slide. Now I'm going to just use uh, some alignment here. So these two I'm going to do and say align shape format, go to align top. Uh, similarly for these two also, I'm saying align top so that it's uh, get stay at the same place uh, in PowerPoint, align top. And for these as well, align top. I'm also going to uh, do align left here and same for sorry say align left for these two also align left similarly for these two align left and move it right here and for this also say align left and move it a little bit here so it's a placeholder you can add your own message here now i'm again going to insert a rectangle as an outer rectangle and uh, place it something like this and say shape outline uh, no outline shape fill as a as a white but at the same time i'm going to add a shadow of this one and now say send to back so this is how i'm going to create a border here now select uh, all of the this portion Okay, the rectangle and the icon and the text message. I'm going to add some animation now. Go to animation, add animation and say wipe. And I want to say it has to come from the left. Similarly, I'm going to do for this one, add animation and the animation type is white and this is from right. Similarly, I'm going to add for this one also, add animation, white and from right. And for this one, it is add animation Y and from left. Now go to animation pane. What I want is, I want the rectangle to come first. So this is my rectangle. Then I want my icon to come and then the text box. So this is perfectly fine. The sequence is right. I just wanted to validate the sequence. And all this, before that, I want this uh, rectangle to come. So I'm going to add an animation here, which is, uh, wipe and I say come from the top. The last animation I have to do for this outer circle and I say add animation and this is wheel and I say option is one spoke. Okay, now the slide is ready and let me see. Uh, first thing I have to change a little bit of this, the order. This uh, rectangle has to go top. This rectangle has to come first. So there's a arrow key. With that you can take it to the top because first thing will come my rectangle and then the other shape and at the end is outer circle that's how the flow of the animation this is important to put in the right sequence now close it and do a slight so this is my outer rectangle this is my first quadrant this is my second quadrant this is my third this is my fourth and this is the outer circle this slide is very powerful and can be repurposed and reused in many, many ways. I hope you enjoy uh, seeing this video. Thank you very much.
please do send your feedback in the comment section or if you have any query please do send in the comment section and we'll be happy to answer thank you very much